Hello, my name is Richa, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set reminders on your iPad. If at any point in this video you feel that I am going too fast, feel free to pause the video and catch up at your own pace. So first we're going to start off by um, going into settings, which is the gray app with the gears on it. Once you're in settings, you want to... Um, on the left side on the list you're going to click on notifications and it'll show you this list of all the apps you have scroll down all the way until you see um, reminders you're going to click you're going to press the switch on allow notifications and it'll turn green um, this is just to make sure that when you set a reminder for a specific time or day um, your iPad alerts you properly um, for when you set it. And then um, a special aspect of uh, reminders is that you can set it to have different um, sounds. So let's say you um, set a reminder for 1 p.m. tomorrow. When it becomes 1 p.m., a sound will, um, will be set off from your iPad. So click on the sounds um, tab and you can click on any sound that you want to play um, when your reminder goes off. And that's pretty much it for setting up the um, settings for reminders. Now we're going to go to the reminders app, which is white and it has bullets on it. It's right there for me. Um, so when you're creating a list of reminders, you're going to click on add list. And I'm going to make my list in my iCloud account. And I'm going to title it, let's say homework. As an example, I can change the color of it. So yellow looks pretty nice. And then I can change the icon of it um anything i want so since it's homework i can put a graduation cap and once i'm done putting all the preferences for my list i can click done in the right corner now your reminders list has been created and on the left you can click on whichever list you want to add a reminder to so i have right now two lists that i can put my reminders to my shopping list or my homework list i'm going to create for example, on my homework list, if I want to create a reminder, you can click on the new reminder button, which is on the bottom of your screen. And I will type in any item that I want to be on my list. So let's say I have social studies homework. Then I have to write an essay. You can um, to separate uh tasks on your reminders just click the return key on your keyboard and it'll uh it'll enter to create a new bullet and last thing let's do math homework so once i'm done filling out my list i can click on the keyboard to go down and so now this is your reminders list if you want um your reminders to go off at a, a particular time or day, just click on the um, reminder and it'll uh, the keyboard will appear as if you're typing on it. And on the right, you'll see an eye icon. Just click on that icon and um, a, a list will come up. So you can toggle any of these switches. So if you want your reminder to set to um, alert you, on a specific date you can click you can toggle the date switch and set which date you want the reminder to set off so let's say i want the reminder to go off on sunday the 28th and then let's say i want it to set off at a specific time so i can um, toggle the time switch and set it to a specific time so let's say 3 p.m in the afternoon so um, then after I've set the date and time, I can determine whether I want the reminder to repeat 
at all. So it can repeat hourly or it can repeat um, weekly, monthly, anything you want. Or it can do custom days, um, daily, um, or every day. Um, once you go back to the list, you can do um, set the reminder to alert you at a specific location. So um, let's say you want to go shopping and you're around the area. So if the um, app recognizes your current location that you're, let's say, 10 miles from um, Whole Foods, then it will alert you to um, go shopping at Whole Foods. So you can click on um, any of these buttons. So getting in the car or getting out of the car or your current location, um, like where you're arriving, it will um, remind you at that specific location. And you can do um, custom by clicking on the three dots and you can enter any um, address you want. That's if you want to set a reminder um, to alert you at a specific location. If you don't want any of these uh, things to go off, you can just turn it off by clicking on the toggle switch and it'll uh, go blank. Lastly, for reminders, you can set priority. So let's say you really need milk, you're out of milk and you need to go shopping um, right away. So you can set the priority to high and that will make the um, like the alert to go off first before others. And um, if you don't want it to be priority, you can just click none. And that's pretty much it for reminders on a specific date, time, and like other pre preferences. Once you're done um, with the settings of the reminder, you can click done. And um, when you complete a reminder, you can click on the circle and it will fill the reminder in and show that it is completed. Um, on the right corner, top corner, the three dots, click on that and a list will appear. On the list, it'll say show completed. If you click on show completed, it will show all of the reminders that you have completed. So I already completed my social studies homework. Oops typo homework and if you don't want it to show the completed you can click hide completed so that is all for how to set reminders on your ipad i hope you understood this video and if not feel free to go back and um, learn how to set reminders again that's all i have for today and i will see you next time bye